Given that y equals ln of x over x, find dy dx using the product rule. Well, this is what the product rule says, and this is how I do it. Okay, if you have two functions multiplied together, you take the derivative of the first function, you multiply it to the second function as, as is, then you add the derivative of the second function, multiply it to the first function as is. This doesn't look like that. That looks like something divided by something, not something times something. But if I were to pretend that there's an invisible one right there and move it to the top here by using a negative exponent, then I'm cooking with gas, baby. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to make that x to the negative 1, move it in the numerator, and then multiply it to ln of x, and then apply this rule over here. I will let u be my u. I will let u, ln of x, be my v, and then follow these rules. So dy dx, right, the derivative, is going to equal the derivative of that x to the negative 1. This requires the, pro or the power rule. So you drop down the negative 1, and then you take 1 away from that negative 1, like so. Then you multiply the ln of x as is, so you're still ln of x. Let's keep it wrapped in parentheses because it looks pretty that way. Now we're going to add the derivative of the second function. The derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. Multiply that to the first function as is, the original u, which is x to the negative 1. Now there's lots to clean up here, and so that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, dy dx is going to equal negative, I don't need that, 1. So negative x to the negative 2 multiplied to ln of x. I'm going, I don't like negative exponents, so I'll leave u as 1 over x, and I'm going to turn u into 1 over x. All right, once, like I said it already, I don't like negative exponents, so I'm going to make u negative, move you to the bottom, 1 over x squared times ln of x. Plus, now these are two fractions multiplied together, so 1 times 1 is 1, x times x is x squared. Now let's multiply that ln of x to that 1 up there so we can combine these fractions. dy dx equals negative 1 times ln of x is ln of x all over x squared plus 1 over x squared. Now, since these are two fractions that have the same denominator, we might as well just combine them. So dy dx is going to equal negative ln of x plus 1 all over x squared. So not the prettiest looking guy on the planet, but that's all right. It's not all about beauty. You know, the, the beauty is on the inside. That counts. That's what I hear. All right. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.